Yeah, you tell her, Medea. She don't need no man. Here's more ice cream, Aff. <laughs> Thanks, man. Can I get you anything else? No, I'm fine. All right, you just let me know if you need anything. I'll be in the kitchen working on some paperwork for the maid cafe. Zane, shouldn't I be helping? Aff, you need time right now to recover from everything that happened between you and Aaron. <laughs> Zane, Aaron and I didn't break up. We're just taking some time apart. It's almost been a week and a half. So? Have you guys even talked to each other since that day? Yes. Um, we texted once. He wanted to know how our fur babies were doing. That's it? Yeah. Aff, you're in denial. Don't worry, Zuzu is here to make sure you're taken care of. Don't you worry about a thing. Are you sure? Yes, now finish watching your movie. Thanks, Zane. You're welcome. Yeah, my dear, don't let her sass you. You get that chase off. <laughs> you two are so charming, and you know your company so well. I only apologize that my wife couldn't be here. It's perfectly fine, Mr. Romave. And please, if anything, we should be apologizing for our parents' absence. I heard they took some time off to be with their family this past week. Which is always important. They sure did. Aaron here came back home last week, and we wanted to spend some quality family time together. Well, Aaron, I'm glad to see the young man your parents chose to take over is as business savvy as they boasted him to be. <laughs> Thank you. It was a pleasure to finally meet you, Garte. Same to you, Aaron. And of course, Melissa, it's always a pleasure. <sighs> well, I look forward to sealing the deal on this new project with you and your parents at another time. Maybe next time I could get my sons to meet you two as well. We would love to see them again. <laughs> well, until then, see you both later. Goodbye, Mr. Romave. See ya. Aaron, you were great! Was I? It's been a while since I've talked to anyone that professional. You were perfect! Well, I mean, at least for the experience you have, which isn't a lot, but still, I, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to hear it. Mom and Dad are going to be so excited when I tell them we managed to seal the deal. Especially when I tell them it's all thanks to you. How did you know Gart was a huge fan of pastries? <laughs> well, I know Garth and Zane, his sons. So, they talk about that a lot. I still can't believe that! How awesome is it that you have close relations with the Romave boys? Really, it's like this deal was meant to be. Yeah, so are we going to hang out with Mom and Dad today? <laughs> well, here's hoping. They did take a whole day off just to spend with us, so... They might be behind schedule a bit. Either way, we'll have dinner with them sometime this week. Oh, uh, okay. How have you been feeling, by the way, since you've taken a break from your girlfriend? To be honest, I really miss her. You do? Has she called you? Well, no, but I did call her to check on our fur babies. Well, that doesn't sound like she cares about you very much, now does it? I'm sure she's just giving me the time that I asked for. Nonsense! As someone who's been in a few relationships before, I know this kind of behavior. I'm not going to say anything else besides it doesn't end well. Either way... Let's stop with the depressing talk, shall we? We've got to get you a new suit for the next meeting we have. Huh? Hey, isn't that meeting tomorrow? Yes, but it's best we're ready. Now come on!
Athmal! Athmal, open up! It's Caitlin and Lucinda! Hmm... I've got this. D Lucinda! I'm impressed. <laughs> Just a little potion I whipped up in case of emergencies. Hey, Afmel. You okay? We were knocking at the door for a while. Yeah, I'm fine. Never better. You don't look so good. Again, Lucinda, I'm fine. Ice cream, Netflix, tissue boxes, surrounded by pets. On top of that, you're watching The Walking Dead? Of all things? What? It's not a good show for you to watch right now. You know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get really attached to one of the characters and then... Yeah. Look, girl, you need to get out of the house. Why are you even in here anyway? You should be out doing things. If you don't, then you're just going to sit here and mope and think about Aaron. I'm not thinking about Aaron. You're wearing his jacket. It's cold. She is in denial. F, this isn't like you. You should be out punching the face of productiveness. No, she should be inside getting the rest she needs from the shock. Uh, since when were you an expert in how someone should handle a breakup? It's not a breakup, we're on break! Sorry, F. Since when are you an expert in relationship breaks? Since I know what's best for her. I am her best friend, after all. Zane, I hear you say that all the time. How about you go back to doing whatever you were doing and let us take care of her? It's been a week and a half, and this isn't a healthy way she should be spending her days. Fine. But don't make her more upset than she already is. It's bad enough Aaron left her with two kids to take care of, and I have to clean up this mess. Two kids? Fur babies. Ah. F, you need to get out of the house and do things. Mm. Caitlin's right. You can't just sit around here and mope all day. That settles it. We're taking you out, Af. Where? To a restaurant or something. Just somewhere you can get out. But... Aaron isn't here, and as far as you know, you don't know where your relationship is. I... All right, you ladies need to leave her alone. Can't you see she's suffering enough already? Zane, I swear... Excuse me, but since when did you take care of everything for Afmau since Aaron left? Oh, that's right. <sighs> Kaylin, I understand your frustration, but maybe right now isn't the time to start something with Zane. Especially with Afma having some trouble right now. <sighs> Fine. Af, move over. Lucinda and I are going to join you, and we're going to at least watch some quality TV. <laughs> yeah! That's better. <laughs> My, my, how have you grown, Aaron? Mom. I'm so proud of you for coming back home. It wasn't an easy choice to make. Nor was it an easy choice for us to take time off last week, but we wanted to be with you and Melissa. I appreciate it, Mom. <laughs> I'm glad we sent Melissa to fetch you. I have to admit, I was skeptical about coming back home. As were we. I mean, the thought of you running off again? Why, it would just break your father and mine's heart. Now, you finish trying on that suit and get ready for dinner. Your father is going to attend. Right. <laughs> I guess she's fine without me. But that's another thing. I'm actually really happy my parents are making an effort. That's more than I could ever ask for them.
<laughs> right. Thanks, Kawaii Chan. You taking over while Aff has been out has been awesome. Who knows? Maybe you'll make a great manager someday. Right. Okay, see ya. Kawaii Chan's in charge of the cafe? She is. She's really helping out a lot. Oh, I'm impressed. Good work, Zane. Thanks. Huh? Who is that ice cream for? Oh, it's for Aphmau. You know, she's really putting a smile on. I guess Lucinda and I are really bringing some sun to her world right now. <sighs> you know I could have gotten it for her. I'm sure you could have, but I'm doing it, so that's that. Really? Yeah. Honestly, I think I jumped the gun on the maid cafe when I started it. Really, I love doing it. But managing it, it's been hard on me. I'm not exactly cut out for a huge expansion like Zane is planning. Well, then tell him you think that way. If you don't want to do this, then you don't have to. Yeah, but... Here you go, F. Thanks! What you girls talking about? Afma doesn't want to be in charge of the maid cafe. Lucinda! Really? Huh, well, I can see why. It's a lot of work. It's not the work I'm worried about. I mean, it's stressful, yes, but... I've thought about if this is actually what I want to do with my life. I mean, honestly, I started the maid cafe because I wanted to help Kawaii-chan and have a place we could make together. But now that it's come true... There's just a lot of things I don't think I'm sure about. As someone who runs a potion shop, I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of work on me. I can't even think about expanding. Hey, Af, you said Aaron left because he needed some time to himself after the fire at the cafe, remember? Yeah? Was there more to it? Like, were you guys having a lot of relationship issues? Um, no. We were fine. I think. Are you sure? Because it's one thing that he left after the fire, but it's another thing that you two haven't spoken to each other in over a week. Yeah, I thought you two were close. We are, and that's why... I hate to say this, but... Av, have you been thinking about Aaron lately? Huh? I mean, like, his feelings. Have you been paying attention to him and how he feels about all this? I mean, I, I haven't really. I just kind of assumed he was okay with everything since he supports me and all. But Af, it is possible to be caught up in yourself so much that you forget that other people have feelings. I know that, but I don't think I've done that. Have I? All I'm saying is that you changed your mind very quickly. And that scares me. Why would that scare you? Because! Well? <sighs> Nothing. I'm sorry. You've got a lot of pressure on you already, and I shouldn't be adding to it. Well, thank you for understanding, Aaron. I appreciate it. Yeah, you should get some sleep. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. We'll spend more time tomorrow. I promise. Maybe I did. Then I questioned him about the fire. Uh... All right, I think you ladies need to leave. Huh? It's bad enough you're taking up all her time. It's worse now that you've got her second guessing her business decisions. Excuse me? I'm only telling you the truth. All right, that's it. Zane, you are being too overpossessive of Aphmau. There, I said it. Huh? What? She's right. Zane, you've been really hogging Aphmau all to yourself. You're also really... Um... Uh, how do I say this nicely? Uh, clingy. You're clingy to her. Caitlin! What? He is! Zane, you need to realize that Aphmau has a mind of her own. 
I get you want to do business stuff for whatever Zane kind of reason, but she can decide for herself too. She also has other friends who want to hang out with her and not be bothered by you interrupting. Maybe if her other friends cared a little bit more about her, then they would have helped her long before Aaron left. Then maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. What did you say? Caitlin, we're leaving. Elfmo, I'm so sorry you put the stress on you. Uh? You're lucky I made a promise to Travis to tone down my temper. And you're lucky I made a promise to Aff to not tell you off. Uh! Teleportation potion! <sighs> Can you believe the audacity of Caitlyn? No. Zane? She's right. Huh? Zane, you have been very overprotective of me lately. I mean, I've been trying to hang out with Jean and other friends, and you... You keep chasing them away. F. Zane, I should have realized it sooner and put my foot down. I don't understand. How am I doing that exactly? I realize I'm your only friend. But at some point... You need to find other people who make you happy as well. <laughs> F, you can't mean that! I do, Zane. See, I told you! You need to- Caitlin, get back here! Zane, I just think you and I need some time apart. Are you breaking up with me? No, I- After everything I've done for you?! I just think I need my space right now. I appreciate everything you've done for me. You are a wonderful friend, but I do feel a bit... squished. I see. Fine, I'll... leave you be. Hey, Ev. Don't worry, we're here for you. Did I do the right thing? <sighs> It is possible for someone to care so much it's overbearing. Honestly, right now, you need to step back and decide what you want to do in life, Afmal. And like Lucinda said, we're here for you. Thanks, guys. I think I know what I want to do right now. I should have done this sooner. Right, you do what you gotta do. In the meantime, let's order her pizza. Ooh, girls' night. Girls' night. Let's get a California Supreme. Fine, but I'm getting a mac and cheese pizza, plus pepperoni for F, plus cinnamon sticks. Aaron, I miss you. Why have I been so dumb lately? Hmm, what's this? Aaron's phone. This must be one of Aaron's friends. If he sees this, it might give him second thoughts. I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> 